In describing the battle against Amalek in the Midbar, the Torah tells us Moshe Rabbeinu's hands were held up. When his hands were up, the Jews were winning the battle down below. The Torah tells us when his hands started to come down because he was tired, they started to lose the battle. Remember, who was leading that battle? Yehoshua ben Nun. For Moshe Mordechai Epstein, who was the, one of the great minds of Slabatka, asks a question. How is it possible for Moshe to inspire the people just by his hands? Don't you think they needed a speech? They just had to look at his hands? That was enough to get the people to get motivated to destroy Amalek? I, most people would need a speech to be roused to, to go to war and be strong. Don't worry. No, just look at his hands. How's that enough? And he answers, the answer is simple. At a time of war, when your life's on the line, you don't need a speech. You know what you got to do. You know what you have to do. And all they needed to do was to look up on the mountain in the hill and see Moshe Rabbin with his hands high. That was enough for them. As we approach Rosh Hashanah, ladies and gentlemen, we're in imminent danger, just like they were. Each person stands before Hashem. Even the angels are petrified. They're also on judgment, trembling. As such, we don't need a big derasha to get us to wake up. All we need to do is to hear the blast of the shofar. That's it. That should do the trick. Once I hear the shofar, I should tremble, I should wake up, I should smell the coffee. By the way, there's a great English Sephardic Mahzor, I think it's called Kol Yehuda, where I always do this every year in Rosh Hashanah, he has the Sa'adya Gaon, who was one of the great minds of a thousand years ago, he spells out 10 of the Kavanot, things you should be thinking about when the Baal Tukeh is blowing that shofar. I sincerely suggest you get that Mahzor, look it over, and be reading those 10 things as the Baal Tukeh is blowing that shofar, so that you can ensure that you get the maximum result from that blowing.